Hi there, this is Noah from Automus, and in this video I'm going to look at how to integrate ServiceNow and System Center Configuration Manager to give our users self-service software deployment. The problem we're looking at is one that I think every business faces, which is we need to get users their software, we want it to be delivered quickly, and these days we want it to be through something like an App Store experience that users have come to expect from their consumer devices. And at the same time, we want to wrap some consistency around that, making sure that we control our licensing costs and that the software comes from approved and vetted sources so we maintain security in our environment. The goal then is to provide this in a self-service and on-demand fashion, such that a user doesn't have to submit some request that then goes to an IT tech who has to help them manually install software or point them to a share and give them a long set of instructions. We want it just to be a seamless install. We also want to use our existing tools to allow us to do things like manage the service process and to deliver the software. So in this case, I'm going to show using ServiceNow for the service management piece. And that allows us to do things like enforcing policies on approvals for expensive software, keeping track of our SLAs to see how many times people request certain software and how fast it gets delivered, and just general record keeping and a, and a clean system of record for a single source of truth on all of this stuff. And then we also want to use Configuration Manager because it can do the software delivery so seamlessly. So we basically want to allow the user to go to ServiceNow, click a button, and see the software appear on their system not too long afterwards. Here's what the setup looks like. We have a fancy green laptop, which is what needs the software. The user makes a request through their ServiceNow portal, which is where the request lives and is managed. Then we have our infrastructure that's in our data center. And this is, in our case, System Center, which has Configuration Manager to do the actual application deployment. And Orchestrator is what sits in the middle and watches for new requests to come in and then translates those requests into a dynamic configuration in Configuration Manager, which allows the software to show up magically on the PC for the user to install. Let's see what this looks like from the user's perspective, and then we can take a look at how it works behind the scenes. Here we are on the desktop of Jenna Buck, who is an employee at the fictional company Buy Our Stuff Now, and she's in her ServiceNow portal knowing that she needs to get Adobe Reader. She's been told, go out and get this software. So she heads over within her portal, just scrolls down and finds Adobe Reader happens to be a top request. She opens that up. And this is just a product in the ServiceNow software catalog. And she can see that the price is very high in this case, but she's been told she really needs this software. So she's going to go ahead and order it. And with that, a request has been opened up, and we can see that if we look at this, we're waiting for approval by somebody who approves apparently expensive software. Right away then, she can see that approval is pending. Let's head over to Eric's view then to see if we can make that happen. Now we're on the desktop of Eric Schroeder, and we're looking after he's received an email saying, hey, there's an approval pending. He goes into his portal, he opens up his approvals, and he sees there's one waiting for him. So just pop that open. And this is just standard ServiceNow functionality. You can review what is this. It looks like uh, it's Adobe Reader, very expensive price, just a quantity of one. But in this case, he wants to get this project moving, so he's going to go ahead and approve. Now at this point, that request goes into approve state. And what happens in the back end, or in the magic side of it, is that now System Center Orchestrator in the data center has been watching this request and it sees that the request is open, but it had not yet been approved. But now it's both open and approved, which are the two criteria that it looks for. And it says, okay, now I can leap into action and I can actually go deliver this software to the user. So channeling Jenna again, we've gone back to our desktop and we can see that we get some notifications that are stock notifications in service now that a request had been open. And then about three minutes later, it looks like it had been approved. And what's happening in the background is again that that deployment is being configured so that she should get an email here shortly saying, hey, your software is ready, go ahead and install it. So let's give that a couple minutes to bake and we'll come back when it's ready.
Flash forward five minutes in the future, we've now got a new email. It says our software is ready. That's promising. Let's open that up. And we see that our software is ready and that we have some instructions here. So what do we need to do? We need to log into our PC. Okay, that's good. I'm on my PC. I need to click a link. I think I can handle that. And bringing that up, I see that what's happened is that I have linked over to the application catalog that Configuration Manager gives us out of the box. And what's happened is that Adobe Reader has been made available in here just for Jenna. Um, by the series of processes that Orchestrator has done on the back end. But now all she has to do is just do the one-click install that Configuration Manager makes possible through its magic. And once she does that, everything's going to happen and Adobe Reader will just get installed. So she doesn't have to go through any wizards or know how to install any software with particular configuration. That's all handled for her, and it'll be done in a couple minutes. Back in the admin view, let's look at what the requests ended up with. If we go into our requests and open up that request for deployment, we can see that um, it's been marked as closed, so that's good. And uh, if we go into the requested software item and look at that detail, we should see that the state here is also closed and that we have a few notes that were put in as far as how this went down. So this was opened at this particular time here. About four minutes later after the approval happened, System Center Orchestrator came along and opened this and put it in progress. And it says it's starting its fulfillment processing. And then about three minutes later, it had finished that, marked the state as closed, and then gave us a little note about how that went. You may be wondering, what if you don't want approval? What if you just want to give the users a way to click a button like an App Store purchase, and the price is free, so it just gets delivered automatically? Well, let's go take a look at that. All we have to do in ServiceNow, which the reason I had a price of $1,250 on Adobe Reader is because there's a default policy out of the box that if a catalog request is over $1,000, approval will be required. And if it's below $1,000, it will be automatically approved. So let's just go ahead and make this free and stop skimming off the business for a free product. And once I do that, I should head over to Jenna's side again, and we'll just go through the request a second time and see what the difference is. So back in Jenna's portal, we can see that there's no price now. It's just a free product. And if I order this now, I should see a different result pop up, which is that, again, we have a new request, same as before. But if I look at the stage, I can see that the waiting for approval is already approved. So it's been automatically approved, and fulfillment should happen right away, which means that Orchestrator is immediately picking up this request and it's going to immediately uh, set it up so we can get this software without waiting for anybody to be in the loop. And indeed, within a couple minutes, if we look at our inbox, we see that everything happened all at once. Uh, the approval was uh, apparently approved before it even opened, according to our mail, and uh, it was completed and the software was ready to install right away. I hope that sparks some ideas. You can find details on how this works and how to implement it in your environment in the documentation for this example. And we'll also take a look at that in the next video. So thanks.